Hey y'all, welcome to Art of the Budget. My name is Nicole, my pronouns are she and her, and I live in the Pacific Northwest on the traditional unceded territories of the Coast Salish Nations, and today we're doing a budget check-in. This is November 2021, week three, and um, I've got a good amount of um, transactions, so let's uh, get into it pretty quickly. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. I use the app Every Dollar, the free version. It is a Dave Ramsey product, and I'm not a huge Dave Ramsey fan, but it does work really well for the way that I do my budget. Um, and if you are returning, as always, thanks so much for uh, coming back and helping me stay accountable and on my budget. Um, let's get into it. We are at the end of November. It's kind of wild. We're Getting so close to 2022, um, I have some interesting changes coming in 2022, which we will get into, I think, during Vlogmas. Um, I am hoping to sort of step up my video game and have some good content for you during Vlogmas. Um, but yeah, let's get into these transactions. I'm going to scroll down just because these are older, and I'm going to go to... Daily living, because I think a lot of these are like grocery or restaurant related. So I did spend $135 at the vending machine at school that takes credit cards. And so that's going to go in his restaurants. Um, I spent some money at Value Village $21.39. And that's going to go in fun. I mostly bought some scarves, some like cute, like, gauzy scarves to go with uh just I guess to keep me warm <laughs> do I already have like a hundred scarves yes I do but you know what are you gonna do um all right so I stopped at this little like sale that was happening uh downtown I was driving to go grocery shopping and I saw this cute little sale happening uh it was like all local makers, but this very different <laughs> group of makers than like who I know. Maybe it's like a slightly different generation and just like a slightly different vibe. Um, and I ended up buying some soap um, and some apple butter from one of the vendors, which was a farm called Hidden Prairie Farm. And I spent $19.28. And I guess that will come out of um, fun and also the apple butter is a gift. So randomly, my work study was talking about how um, they love uh, apple butter and he had bought some. And uh, anyway, I, I just happened to come across it like within the week of having that conversation. And so I thought, oh, I'll just pick this up. You know, obviously, I don't need to give my like student employees gifts and I, I don't usually, but I just thought it'd be a nice, fun thing. Um, so I'm going to put part of that in there under gifts and I'll put the rest 928 remaining wait nine <laughs> all right let's work every dollar there we go so I'm gonna track that expense okay then I went to grocery outlet and I actually mostly picked up um coffee well I wouldn't say mostly but 46.58 was my total and about 20 to 22 dollars of that was coffee um if you're new here I if you're not new here you probably know I always buy my coffee in bulk so I don't have to worry about it for a few months so I bought two big I think they're like two pound bags um and that works really well um, for me. So that's going to go in groceries. Let's go back up to that. Okay, well, we're doing okay. Um, I also went to Fred Meyer and I picked up a bunch of veggies. I actually have quite a few things that I'll continue to use into this week. I do need to pick up a couple items. Um, I don't really celebrate Thanksgiving, um, but I do eat dinner usually with my friend from high school who lives nearby or in Seattle. Um, and so I do bring something uh, to the potluck. So I'm going to pick up a couple things for that. And that was $39.52. But other than that, I don't think I should need too much for prepping this week. Although I do have a little list going. 
I need to refill my CO2 cartridges for my uh, soda stream and pick up some cheddar cheese and a few other like basic staples like that. Um, all right. Anything else? Safeway. Oh, yeah. I did stop and get um, one night before class. I actually went to Safeway and I got something quick for dinner um, from their like prepared food section. And I got cookies for my students because we were raku firing and I just wanted there to be a snack. And since we were working outside, we'd be able to, you know, pretty safely take our masks off. And so that all together was 1953. I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Actually, well, it's been the groceries, whatever. Um, all right, then let's see. The kitty cats food came out 7516. They do eat the most expensive food. Um, it is a like isolated protein or like single protein venison food because one of my cats is allergic to uh, chicken. All right, wow, there's still so many transactions to go. Um, okay, so I'm gonna scroll down to health. Um, oh, which we're already behind in. That's okay. So, um, yeah, a couple of things changed. And so I do have a couple of very small health expenses. Um, but as you can see, they are adding up. Um, but I have set myself up to have my FSA come out in 2022. So actually after 2022, you won't really see those anymore because they'll, they'll, they won't come out of my budget. Anyway, um, I got charged eleven oh one from the pharmacy, and then I got charged ten dollars. But I feel like that that is going to disappear, so I'm going to leave that hanging out there for right now. Is there anything else in that category? Okay, no. So I'm going to scroll back up, and I went to the bread peddler. I got a sandwich. So I was hanging out with a friend and I got a sandwich and they got some dessert and we split it. Um, so this is going to go, I would call this um, restaurants for half of it. And then groceries because I also bought a very fancy loaf of bread. So I'm going to split that up. And if anyone's wondering, like, what is the purpose of splitting things up? I track all of this into a spreadsheet. And so this just gives me a good idea um, of what I actually spent in the year in different categories so that I can adjust them if needed. Um, a lot of times, even if I'm over in one category, I'll be under later and it will balance out for the year. And so I'll keep that. But sometimes um, I will just be over for the whole year and I'll realize that I either need to, like, tighten up my budget, tighten up my spending, or I need to actually change the number um, in the budget. And um, that is why I split things up. Do I sometimes like fudge things or whatever? Yeah, I do. You know, I'm not perfect, but um, that's kind of the intent behind splitting things up. All right. So I had a sharing thing come out. So sharing income, $25 for crafting the future. Um, I had gas come out. I literally did not get gas this whole month. And I was like to the brink. The little light actually came on, um, which has almost never happened. And I spent $54.33 on gas. I filled up my tank. It was completely empty. Um, and I will say the funny thing was that I was actually in a hurry to get somewhere, but I had to <laughs> fill up the tank because the little light had come on. And for some reason that the gas pump was going so slow. I swear I was at the gas station like pumping gas for like 25 minutes and I just thought it was funny that I had like let it go so long and then I got this super slow pump. But anyway, um, the other day at work I forgot to bring lunch. I had done actually an amazing job meal prepping. I basically meal prepped every other meal of the week um, but Friday I forgot lunch and so I ordered Jimmy John's and it was very weird. Like they were very disorganized. They brought my food. They didn't bring my chips. And then they didn't charge me for them either. But then like the person was like, here, sign the thing. And I was like, oh, okay, where do I? Oh, no, no, no. The person was like, here's your sandwich. And I was like, oh, okay, where's the thing I signed so I can put your tip on? And they were like, don't worry about it. So I didn't even get to tip. It was very weird. So it was 14 38, which is frankly very affordable for Jimmy John's, but it did feel really weird that he wouldn't let me tip. So maybe he just realized that he'd forgotten the chips or something. But I mean, anyway, I still would have tipped. 
It wasn't like he charged me for the chips. Anyway, um, let's see. Oh yeah, I'm leaving that pharmacy there. Yesterday I picked, I got ice cream at this place called Sophie Scoops. It's a local place. I've literally heard about it for years and I've just never had a chance to get it. And yesterday I went over to a sale, like a craft sale that was there and I did get some and it was very delicious. Um, it was six fifty three. I'm going to leave this sit here though, because I don't think that, I think it's still pending. So it hasn't added tip yet. And I just want to make sure it's the right amount, um, before I send it over to its category. And, uh, yeah. So anyway, it was really good and I'm excited. I finally got to try it. Um, they also were a graduate of the like business, um, small business development course I took in the spring. They took it, you know, years ago, um, but they're like an alum of it. So anyway, it was cool to support. Um, while I was there, I also picked up some stickers from a local maker called Line Maker. So I'm going to put that in fun. And then last but not least, internet came out. It is $90. I need to call and negotiate soon. Um, but yeah, $90, that's me for the week. It was a spendy week. Um, but I, I think we're doing okay. I'm, I mean, even in this panel, I'm not seeing so much red. And like, you know, this is kind of the area where I tend to see a lot of red. So I'm hoping for the best this month. We will see. Uh, and I will see you in the next video.